As you can see the computer, it's chocked up on bits of wood. So that the fans I've got here and suck some air in. Oh, so there's a bit of space there between the wall and the back of the computer where hot air is pushed out of the computer. Also got another fan here on the inside which is sucking air in. So I've got three fans sucking in, one and two on top. So you can just see I've taken the printer off the top, I've got some wood here, you can see there's a 120mm fan sucking air in here, there's another small fan sucking air in here. <coughs> so now I'm going to take the lid off. And as you can see, the two fans and the lid there, with some wire pokery going on there. There's the motherboard. <coughs> now the motherboard is from a Dell 790 Optiplex. <coughs> Problem with that box was that it was too small and wouldn't fit this graphics card. Physically wouldn't fit it, wouldn't fit in the box. <coughs> so I had to put the motherboard into a tower box, an old one that I had lying around. Then I could fit in the graphics card. Now that's a Radeon 39 or R9 390 with 8 gig of RAM. So it's got heaps of grunt in that thing. It's good for games. <clears throat> the other op the other change that I had to make with this motherboard was actually the updating the power unit. So as you can see, I've got a 1050 watt power supply now. The one that came with the Dell Optiplex was only 250 watt, so it was nowhere near the sort of power supply that you need for a graphics card like this. So all up, I think it needs about 700 watts. So I thought play it safe and go with the 1050 watt power supply. Seems to do the trick. <coughs> the only other thing of note when you change when I changed the Dell motherboard was to keep all the external peripheral devices as as they are so the fan is still there that's the one that from the Optiplex box the peripheral devices like the ports at the front they're the ones from the Optiplex box the USB ports the old the old ones there aren't being used anymore I've only wired up the new ones the ones that came with the Optiplex. <coughs> also, I had to do some funny stuff here. This is the power switch that came from the Optiplex box. So I've made a hole in the front of the tower, stuck the, the switch through that, and that's what's used to switch the computer on and off now. As you can see, this is what it looks like when it's started up. Fans going. So this is the power switch. This is how we switch it on now. As you can see, <coughs> I've got the, this is the the USB and the audio in and out from the Optiplex front panel. So as you can see I've used a hacksaw and I've cut in to the front panel, plastic panel of the tower and slotted, jammed this thing in. So now it slots in there and I can just use it like I used to do on the front of the Optiplex. These ones here are redundant and are not wired to the power to the motherboard. Only these ones, the Dell ones. <coughs>